Warm greetings everyone, I hope you are well. It's Nick here from the Sega Genesis Omega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. And it's time for a horizontal shooter called Atomic Robo Kid, uh, published by Treco in 1990. Now we've already reviewed this game as an Spectrum, which was never completed, it was a demo version. I reviewed it on the Commodore Amiga, and I had a dodgy version which like crashed after stage one. So I've never really seen the game in full effect. If any game... Uh, if any system can do it, it is the Mega Drive, so see what's happening here. It's based on the arcade cabinet from UPL in 1988. Right, so I'm this robot guy here. Already it feels a little bit clunky. Um, and we, we need to go forward and blast everything. There's a number of power-ups, which hopefully we will do. Uh, they're released periodically, there's one. Uh, if I shoot that, I can go around the weapons, but that is probably one of the best ones, shooting five. If you had this game back in the day, then let me know. The music sounds a little bit scratchy compared to other thumping uh, tracks, so at the moment it's slightly lacking. The story is, atomic radiation has bombarded Terra-12, it's a far outpost of Earth, and during that point aliens have snuck in and overtaken the place, so we need to blast them. The arcade cabinet, I think, has a time limit for each stage. Let's try and get around this mob. This one does not have a time limit. My lives are in the top left. As you can see when I come into it, there's easy mode, medium mode and extra difficult uh, for different lives and credits to go forward onwards. I don't like those green things that are following me, but I don't think they're causing too much damage. I can't see an energy bar, which is annoying me uh, a lot, because it looks like you can take some hits at least without getting destroyed. The controls feel a little bit clunky. Much like the Amiga, much like the Spectrum, so maybe it's a case I'm just not overly keen on the game itself. It doesn't seem like I've got much room to work with. Um, I think the, this version is slightly more zoomed out than the arcade, so the arcade is even more cramped. Right, now I think the secret is for success is to shoot stuff before it can actually get on the screen and get going. So that's a flaw there, which could lead to great success. But I've got one of the best weapons, but there's a missile as well, uh, freeway fire, so I've got to make sure I don't pick up any other stuff which changes my weapon, because this is jolly useful. Right, get over that, that's a missile, but by shooting it, you could have rotated round to all the different ones. So this was 1990, a UPL arcade machine in 1988. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's about seeing these games, although I did not own them. Oh, well, it's a big fan thing. Uh, yes, please subscribe if you haven't already. And big thanks to those people who subscribed so far. Oh dear, keeping the channel up and running. And there's loads and loads of competition. And uh, now I've got this weedy gun, which is going to make it a bit difficult. Right, let's get something here. Oh man, it's all going a bit wrong. So let's see if I can get up level one. If you want to see other Mega Drive games we've reviewed, there's a, there's a link in the description below to the playlist, or click on my uh, username, take to the channel page, click on the playlist uh, link if you've ever done that, and you see everything there. There's thousands and thousands of reviews on the channel now. Hopefully I'm getting gradually uh, better. Right, go. Kaboom. But it's not expert gameplay. It's not expert chat even. It's nincompoop chat. It's just busting, seeing how you got in the game with your first thing go back in the day. If a friend had lent it to you, or, you know, there we go. It's the best version of Atomic Robo Kid I've played, but I'm still not enjoying it that much. But I'm glad I am looking at it. Right. Come on, Nick. Just get off level one. On the Amiga version, when you get to the end, the version I had, as soon as I got to the icon, it, it just completely and utterly crashed. I would like to see what level 2 looks like. That Spectrum, yes. Uncomplete demo version, if I look at that. I'm not sure if it came out on the Commodore 64. That might be interesting to look at too. But I think that might be clunky also. Right, this is a big blasting thing. If you are a big blasting thing, then comment in the comment section below. I've got three lives left. The aim reviews for about 10 minutes long. To get you a bit of an idea of how it would play. I'm not enjoying it, but graphically it looks quite nice. And that's only because the Mega Drive is so, so good at these horizontal scroller shooters, which we've reviewed quite a few, uh, then, I, you know, you, your expectation is super high. Uh, this one seems to be a little bit lacking. It's moving a little bit too slow for me, and the music needs to be a little more funky. It's an also-ran for me. But you might disagree, and that's all right. Put your views in the description below. You might have played it to death back in the day if you had very few cartridges. And then, of course, it's all about the memories as well. It's hard to have nostalgia for a game you didn't play back in the day. I'll just try and imagine it would have been 1990. Uh, there we go. I would have been about 16, 16, 17. There we go. Right, Carl. Not that anymore. Right, let's get, take that bound in. Right, okay. All right. This looks like the end of level one. This is where my Amiga version crashed. And I think we're going good. I don't think Mega Drive games do crash, do they? Act two. 
Right, now I'm in new territory, big nose. And I say big nose is a term of endearment, not that you've got a big nose. Oh, look at this. Right, now, to blast these things, they might regenerate or go back on the screen. So this is it then. It's like timing and shielding. Go. Right, that's those two blasted. Now it's the next lot. So you see what we need to do here, don't you? We need to stealthily zip through. No timer. Uh, as I say, the arcade version did have a timer, which added an extra degree of difficulty. This we can take our own sweet time. Oh no! Got clobbered in the bum by a big ball of fire. If you have got clobbered in the bum by a big ball of fire, then comment in the comment section below. Did it make sitting down awkward for the next uh, couple of days? It's important to know this stuff. Is it? Maybe. Bom, 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 bom. Different music this time. Is it better? Well, still feels a little bit tinny to me. If you're wearing headphones, maybe it might sound a bit different. Right, hang on, come on, it. Come on, let's just destroy these hoodlums. Maybe get off Act 2. There's a number of stages. Some of them are divided into two parts. But uh, it's divided into acts anyway. I don't know why these aliens have taken over. Probably opportunists. Cosmic radiation. That comes from the sun, I think. Uh, was that solar radiation? I don't know where co cosmic radiation is from. Space somewhere. If you know where cosmic radiation is, tell everyone. Especially if you're, you're some sort of genius like Einstein or Stephen Hawking or Keith Chegwin. Let us know about all of it. Oh, come on. Right, this, this is going okay. It's going to be some tricky bit. Oh my goodness, I don't like that mob. And I've been hit by some sort of a false field. Oh no. False fields are tricky. Unless you're on the Starship Enterprise and it's to stop your atmosphere venting into space if you've taken a blast to the port side from the Klingons. Let us know if you've ever taken a blast to the port side from the Klingons. Though it's up to no good. But it's, you know, uh, from a Klingon point of view, this Star Trek in Klingon world, they'd be seen as the heroes. Continue. We won't continue. Uh, we'll go back from the start again, see if I can get any better on my second go blasting through. So stage one. If you've got a version that doesn't blow up, if you've got a Mega Drive version, it seems to be okay. Uh, that could be animated, but it's just a picture uh, showing what cosmic radiation looks like. Act 1. Go Robo, go Robo Kid. So he's an atomic robot sent here by Earth, uh, but um, he's a bit clunky. He don't move very well, and um, the area is a little bit cramped. And these green things can do one, if you ask me. Right. Get out of the way, they just block us really, like big pillows in space from some uh, bankrupt bed place. Uh, but anyway, oh, that shouldn't have killed me. Yeah, but the trick is just really blast stuff when it's on the screen by the nearest of pixels. Uh, get the best upgrade you possibly can to make it easier. Hopefully the, the Blasting 5, that's the one that I favour. This one is a bit weedy. Right, so there we go. Oops, and I've done a boo-boo there because I blasted into it without getting the upgrade, so that's going to make my life a whole lot trickier. Always take the easy way if you can do. Uh, right, just blast these aliens like they just don't care. Like they're wearing underwear. Uh, they, uh, well, they look, they look like it's influenced by the sea. Right now, that's the. F right, I've got. See, that's a free blast. I did that to let you know what it looks like. Good for blasting ceiling stuff. And that might be useful, that was probably very useful on stage 2. So you can blow stuff up from below. That, yeah, the, you, want the, you want the freeway. You want the freeway um, on stage 2. So try and save that. Try and get that near the end. Here, the best one is 5. 5 blasters for this stuff. Hey, I thought I got a 5. That didn't work. Oh no, you big, you big burk. Uh, Terra 12 is in big trouble here. And they're going to stay in big trouble because this robot hasn't got the right software, because the software is inside my brain. We go off on a tangent quite a lot, but now, here we go. You can do anything with this weapon. Always in life, you need a bigger weapon. Uh, oh, look, I don't like that. Look, firing boxing gloves at us. Oh, God. One shot and you're boobed. Oh, God. Isn't that for life? That's going to be on my gravestone. He got boobed. Hopefully, anyway. But missile. Mm hmm. What else is available? That's that rapid fire. Come on, give us something decent. Yeah, five, good. Five. Five's always a good number. In fact, if you're on Noah's Ark, you couldn't fit five everything on it. And also, if you had five elephants, what's you going to have? Like three men and two women? It's all getting complicated now. 
Where I wasn't around in Noah's Ark times. It was a big boat made out of wood. What happens when you put the woodworm on? Two woodworm. That's the end of that. We've sunk. Uh, anyway, we're here now, so I presume it worked out. Oh god, come on. Right, now see if I can get to stage two. Stage one shouldn't cause you any more bother, really. Especially if you're doing what I'm doing. Just blast them as soon as they get on the screen. Uh, that might be energy if we got that, but never mind. I, I've got no energy bar, so no energy bar, no timer. That can make it a bit more exciting, but, um, you know, in theory, without the timer there, it should make it easier, but I'm making a meal of it. Do I like this game? Well, it's okay, but I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, I don't think I would have liked the arcade game either, to be fair. But uh, it's interesting, at least. There, there's, there's quicker, more nimbler shooters up there with a bit more excitement. I expect a lot, because I've, I've reviewed such a lot of stuff now in the channel's reign, I expect to that a bit more. It's, it's, just, it's just okay. See, you so, can tell now that the freeway gun would be a lot better. I need the freeway gun. Here... Uh, it's a bit of like uh, manoeuvring up and down like a clown. Oh, uh, they're going around the place. Right, come on, come on, silly Wally. Do 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 Oh, mind you, you can get this bread now, it's called Best of Both. It's got two toasts, how'd they do that? Uh, duh, duh. So you didn't expect me to go on about toast, did you? Put your favourite toast fact in the commentary section below. Activity is the one. That's all super active, I presume. Then uh, YouTube promoted, I presume. Right. Be always be aware of fiery balls. Especially if you're on the way home from the pub. And you've had a, had a like, spicy kebab. Right, I'm not going to get out of here. I know already. With this, with this weedy weapon, I've got no chance here. But uh, I'll keep going. It's these fellas here that are causing the bother. Oh, I know. That's a bit of a chance. Oh, maybe I have got a ch Oh, dear. There's a, there's a strategy here, which I obviously haven't got. This is your last life. It's now or never. It's now or never. Oh, never then. Uh, that's it, I think. Okay, so, you've heard what I think about the game. Could be a bit better. A little bit clunky. Need more room to manoeuvre. Better shooters are available, but overall, it's all right. Meh, okay, I suppose. So, yeah, uh, got any, that's Atomic Robo Kid on the Sega Genesis on Mega Drive, published by Trico in 1990, based on the arcade cabinet from UPL in 1988, so two years before. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comments section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. If you know where cosmic radiation is, tell everyone, especially if you're, you're some sort of genius like Einstein or Stephen Hawking or Keith Chegwin, let us know about all of it.